Sorry, that was really bad. What's going on, guys? Pokemon month is here. After so much deliberation, after so much wait, here it is. An entire month dedicated to Pokemon. Or Pokemon Tomato Tomato. So, I decided, because there's way too many episodes to cover in one month, like, seriously, way too many. Um, I thought I'd just start with the movies, and then, movies as they are on their own, not in the context of the show that they come from, like, so, for example, I'm not going to make any references to the show, but I will vo like shout out some of the voice actors that do a good job or something like that. Anyhow, we're going to be reviewing the first three Pokemon films today. First three. We have the first movie. We have 2000. And the third movie. So, let's get started. So, in this film, uh, scientists genetically create a new Pokemon, Mewtwo. But the results are horrific and disastrous when he turns on his creators, kills all the scientists, and now he's out to destroy humanity or something. It's a bit confusing. But, um, yeah, this movie's pretty dang good, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why this is a great movie. It's because of Jay Goad, the voice of Mewtwo. He steals the show here, like, absolutely, without a doubt, steals the show. Mewtwo is intimidating, he's OP, he's memorable, his design is really good. Oh, he's just such a great character, I love Mewtwo. One of my personal favorite Pokemon outside of, well, this little guy. But yeah, Jay Goad is what makes this such a great movie. I mean, yes, it starts out a bit boring because it starts with Pikachu's uh, vacation or whatever it's called. And, um, and it takes a little bit to get going, but once it gets going, it is great. Like, great. Like, this is going to be a really high bar to set, like, right off the bat. It's going to be really pretty tough to beat this one. I mean, they remade it later in Evolution, which I'll cover that when we get to it. I am not looking forward to that one. Not at all. But as for this movie, 9 out of 10. My final verdict, 9 out of 10. Great film. Check it out. Okay, next up we have... Pokemon 2000. In this movie, Ash Ketchum must gather the three spheres of fire, ice, and lightning in order to restore balance to the Orange Islands. Oops, technical difficulty. Um... Unlike the first film, which kind of took a couple risks, this one's a little more straightforward and safe. It's not bad. I mean, it's still like a 7 out of 10. Some of the animation's a bit better. And, I mean, a Pokemon isn't stealing the show here. It's Ash's movie again. But this is a pretty... Pretty good movie. That's all I'm going to say. 7 out of 10 for my final verdict. Pretty good. Not nearly as good as the high bar set by the first one. Yeah, this feels like Zombie Island. Where it's going to be like every movie cannot top the first one. I keep running into that for some reason. And then we have... Pokemon 3. Also known as Spell of the Unknown, apparently. And this 
And in this movie, in the town of Greenfield, a young, lonely girl's dreams and wishes are brought into reality by a collective of reality-warping Pokemon. Um, the, the blind girl steals the show here. She does such a great job. Um, I, sorry, I forget her name. Um... I don't remember exactly who voices her, but she did a great job. As for the movie, it's still pretty good. I quite enjoyed the third one. My problem with this movie is the the unknowns themselves. I'm sorry, I know this is controversial, but I found these Pokemon lazy, generic, and boring. Like... Not as not like Shrek Forever After level boring, but boring. I did not I did not like the unknowns. I thought they were just there just to sell more cards. Uh, the movie, like I said, it's still really good. Final Verse is seven, but the mm, I don't know. I I just don't like the I just don't like the unknowns. I'm sorry, I don't. If you like them, that's cool, but they're just, they're just not my thing, personally. Okay, that is all three Pokemon movies. Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed here after the intro, seriously, that's like the best intro I think I've ever made. But, yeah, that was, uh, but yeah, all three of these movies are really good, but yeah, this one right here. This is easily the best one of the three. It is just great. It is so, so good. And I don't know why the critics slammed it. Because I thought it was really good. I thought it was well made. And keep in mind, this is coming from a complete Pokemon noob. Like, I played the games, I watched the anime, but I have never watched the movies. Like, never. This was my first time. And first time, I loved the, this first movie. Like, a lot. And it may or may not, more than likely, be my favorite movie in the franchise. We'll have to see. We still have a lot of movies to go. Uh, some of these I'm going to have to watch in just Japanese, because some of them haven't been released over here. I believe this two are Jirachi and Secret of the Jungle. Secret of the Jungle was supposed to get a dub later later this year, but we don't know when. The pandemic kind of threw everything out of proportion, so we'll see. But as for this video, yeah, this is the end of this first episode of Pokemon Month. Like I said, I'm surprised you stayed here after that intro. Seriously, give me credit. That was like the best intro I think I've ever made on this channel. But don't worry, you'll be seeing it a lot more because we have a long way to go. We're just getting started. So, until then, I'm Jack Small. And this is Pikachu signing off. Pikachu. What was that? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Pokemon, happy 25th anniversary. This is why I'm doing this in the first place. So, yeah, I kind of forgot to bring that up. I feel dumb. <laughs> Who knew a stuffed Pikachu could be smarter than a 20-year-old man? Guess you learn something new every day. Thank you guys for watching. Happy 25th anniversary, Pokemon. I'm doing this month for you. And until next time, guys, take care. Just small out.